In this video, I'm going to take you through interval of validity. There is a concept in differential equation. So if you have differential equation with initial conditions, you would have to find the interval of validity of the initial condition. So let's see what we have in this video. Watch the video to the end so you understand every part of the video. Under interval of validity, we are going to consider a theorem here. So without solving a differential equation, you are expected to find the interval of validity. Now let's see how we do that. So if you have y prime plus p of t multiplying y is equal to g of t at an initial condition y of t naught is equal to y naught if this is your differential equation and this is the initial condition provided the function p of t and g of t are continuous on an open interval alpha less than t less than beta so what is term is saying is that provided this p of t which is a function and g of t here which is also a function are continuous on this interval is an open interval where the t here is a member of the initial condition so if provided these two are continuous on this interval then the interval will contain what t naught so once this satisfies this then it means that the interval that will have the t naught which is our initial condition will then be the interval of validity all that we are saying is if you have any linear equation which is linear linear differential equation and the p of t and the g of t are continuous on an open interval a less than t less than b then your initial condition saying that y at t naught is always equal to y naught provided our t naught is found within interval then that interval becomes our interval of validity let me use a problem to show you how to do this so without solving without solving determine the interval of validity for the following initial value problem I have t squared minus 9 multiplying y prime plus 2y is equal to ln of the expression 20 minus 4t the initial conditions is y of 4 is equal to negative 3 so let's solve this for you to understand interval of validity so it's saying that t squared minus 9 multiplying y prime plus 2y is always equal to natural log of 20 minus 4t to do this first express this in the linear form by making the coefficient of y prime become 1 so i'll divide through by t squared minus 9 and i'll be left with y prime plus 2 over t squared minus 9y equals ln 20 minus 4t all over t squared minus 9. At this point, let's see. Our p of t, which is this, and our q of t, which is this. You realize that they are discontinuous at the point where what t squared minus 9 equals 0. That is t equals plus or minus or 3, right? So at this point, our p of t and our g of t becomes what? discontinuous 
and our g of t alone which is this side in a natural log expression you shouldn't have natural log of zero so 20 minus 40 should not be equal to what zero right hence 20 minus 40 so 20 will be equal to what 40 will not be equal to and my t will be what 5 so t should not be equal to what 5 right hence let's see i've got one interval negative 3 to what 3 i'm not supposed to get this negative 3 and 3 you realize that at that point my p of t and my g of t are discontinuous and at t equals negative 5 my g of t is also discontinuous so let's see the intervals i'm getting from negative 3 so let me make it this way so you realize that from negative infinity less than t up to negative 3 is one interval then so i had negative 3 i had 3 and i had negative 5 at the end point where my functions are discontinuous so this alone will give me this interval then within this and this i will get negative 3 less than t less than 3 that's my second interval and i'm also going to get t greater than 3 less than 5 right so it's 1 2 3 so from this side to infinity this side and this side then this side and this side and also negative 5 to what sorry this is not negative 5 it's 5 then 5 to infinity so i get 5 less than t less than infinity so these are the four possible intervals open intervals i'm getting but how do we get the interval of validity as i said earlier for my choice to satisfy the interval validity should have this number here you have t naught which is in the initial condition in our initial condition the t naught is 4 so let's see the interval where we can find 4 so among these four intervals i won't get 4 here from here i won't get 4 because it's less than 3 and i'm going to get 4 here i won't get 4 here hence my interval of validity is simply equal to 3 less than t less than 5 without solving the differential equation thank you for joining don't forget to subscribe to support